will color me happy. It's macarons for two. Why do you guys all want to get me drunk? You do one little video with alcohol and now they want to see you get drunk all the dang time. Not today, Satan. Not today. Hi, I'm Kim and welcome to this episode of Macronomics. Today we're going to make strawberry champagne French macaroons with little X's and O's, gold X's and O's nonetheless, perfect for Valentine's Day. A little bit of hugs, a little bit of kisses. Thank you to Stephanie Ham for requesting this video. If you guys wanna see any future videos, please use the comment section to request below. We're going to be pairing these with a strawberry champagne ganache filling. I'm using a strawberry champagne extract, which you can also replace for a pink champagne or a rosé. And in addition, I'm going to be using some strawberry jam to fill these with as well. Extra special for all you lovers out there. Let's get started. So to start this recipe, we're going to make our meringue. Surprise, surprise. So add your egg whites, cream of tartar, and salt to a bowl of a mixer, and then give it a good mix on high so it's nice and foamy and frothy. And then you can decrease your mixing speed to low and slowly add your granulated sugar. You can do this on low or off, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then kick your speed back up to high and mix it until you have thick, stiff, almost like overmixed peaks. And this could take longer. Sometimes with cold egg whites, it takes longer to whip up than room temperature egg whites. So don't freak out if this is taking forever. In the meantime, you're going to sift your almond flour and your confectioner sugar into a separate bowl. Get out any of those clumps and get it ready for your meringue. Yeah, get it ready for your meringue. Once you achieved this clumpy looking meringue, you're going to add it all at once to your dry ingredients. And you're gonna to begin to fold gently. It's okay if it takes you a long time, I'd rather you practice folding to get it just right. Then you're gonna under mix it to the point where the white streaks of meringue are gone. And at this point, you will add your gel food colorings. So I'm using a pink and a yellow because I wanna kinda of create that peachy strawberry champagne color. And you can also add a little bit of an oil-based flavoring. Now you can use the strawberry champagne oil-based flavoring or you could use a strawberry flavoring. I will tag down each flavoring below so that you can achieve the same flavor that I'm achieving. Now you're gonna mix that until it's still thick, but there's no peaks. So it doesn't look like nipples or peaks when you pipe. Now you're gonna transfer your batter to a piping bag with a large round tip. And I have two sheet pans with a nonstick silicone mat with pre-traced circles. I love this mat. I will add a link to this exact mat in the caption below. Then you're gonna give these a good tap against the counter and pop up any air bubbles that come to the surface. We're not gonna paint these till after they bake, so we're gonna let these rest for one hour or until skin develops. Now on those two sheet pans, we're gonna bake them at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes and then we're gonna let them cool ever so completely. Oh, hi, remember me? <laughs> I'm late to this party, but that's okay. So now comes my favorite part. After these macarons have cooled, the shells have cooled, we're going to paint on them, and I love to paint. You can either use some edible metallic gold food color or something that's called luster dust, and I take a little bit of gold highlighter luster dust and I put it into just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way and the stuff it's not the cheapest. And then you can take extract, you know, you could take the extract that we're using or you could take some food grade alcohol and just like literally, like if you have a dropper, I would recommend that. Do like the tiniest drop and the, the taste of the alcohol will evaporate once this dries. And then look how, oh my gosh, look at how pretty this gold is. I love it. I love me metallic gold if you can't tell. And then I have this paintbrush. I will absolutely um, paste the links to every product that I'm using down below in the caption. If you're like me, where you have to use everything that you see in a video, that's fine, I got you. So we're gonna take this and hopefully you don't have horrible handwriting like I do um, because my handwriting is really atrocious. I would advise matching up the macaroon shells together before you paint so that you have the same size because I'm gonna do one side X and the other side O. I'm gonna only do one coat here, but you can absolutely do two if you want it to be brighter. I have, does anyone else out there have shaky hands like I do? It's like, I don't even, I've always had shaky hands. I have the worst handwriting in the whole wide world. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna let these dry completely and in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make my strawberry champagne white ganache filling. So for your white ganache filling, you're going to take your heavy cream. Now with white chocolate, because it is more milk based, you're going to need less liquid, less cream to make it into a ganache than you would with a dark chocolate or a semi-sweet chocolate. And we're also going to be using a little bit of this Amaretti strawberry champagne extract, which is alcohol free, but you can put pink champagne or rosé in place for the extract. You're gonna add your white chocolate to a microwave safe bowl in case you have to zap it in the microwave to melt the chocolate even further. And in our cream, we're going to add about a tablespoon of this strawberry champagne extract. And then we'll pop this in the uh, microwave for about 30 second intervals until it's like a little bit bubbly, but you don't want it to bubble over. Now we're going to add it to our white chocolate and then you can cover it. And then if it doesn't melt it right away, you can put it back into the microwave for like 10 to 20 second intervals until it's fully melted. Then you're going to transfer your ganache to a piping bag with a small round tip. And once it's cooled, you don't want it to be too hot. We're gonna fill our French macarons. Now we're gonna fill the French macarons with the ganache and a little bit of my favorite strawberry jam and you can always make fresh strawberry jam for this too. So take one X, fill it with your white chocolate ganache and then put a little dollop of strawberry jam on top. Yes. and then top it with one of your O's. And you can put these in the refrigerator to set up, and then right before you eat them, let them come to room temperature. And there we are, hugs and kisses. <laughs> so thank you, Stephanie, for this request, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel to see first look. And if you wanna see even more content, please make sure that you follow my Instagram and my Facebook. And if you're gonna replicate any of my photos or videos or recipes, please add hashtag creme macaroons to your posts so I can see, like, and share them to my stories. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep baking.